First tonight, an NBC 26 investigation, a six year old girl found dead in a Forest County apartment. Two months later it passed and still there's no exact cause of death. Amber Perry was a kindergartner and since her death, numerous tests have been done to get answers. And we just sat down with the medical examiner working on this case for an exclusive interview to ask what's taking so long. It's a six year old child <clears throat> that for all intents and purposes should have lived to 90 years old. Larry Mathine, the medical examiner for Oneida and Forest Counties is working on six year old Amber Perry's case. Anytime there's a death that is not something that a doctor is taking care of. The medical examiner's office gets involved. Perry was found dead in a Crandon apartment in March. Perry's mother did not have custody of her daughter who was staying with relatives. In a case like Amber Perry's, there's a lot going on in that case. At a news conference held in early March, investigators said there's evidence foul play may have been involved in her death. It's imperative that we as an investigating law enforcement agency conduct ourselves in such a manner that this is in fact and will be considered entirely uh, from day one until the end to be a homicide until we prove otherwise. District Attorney Charles Semino says initial observations and findings point toward death by negligent or reckless conduct, but they wouldn't go into detail about what led them to feel that way. Now Mathine is working to get answers. Well, our function in that is to <clears throat> make sure that that little girl's death it's fully explained um, scientifically and logically and practically. At the beginning of the investigation, the DA said it would likely take four to six months to get test results back. Some of those tests, Mathine says, includes blood work, toxicology, and looking for bacteria or viral infections, anything that may be undiagnosed. We have to make sure that we don't just draw conclusions based on what we see or don't see. In Wisconsin, every county is required to have a medical examiner or coroner. They're independent, they don't work for law enforcement, and they're designed to run concurrent investigations. Every case is different, and every result that we receive back from our lab work it has to be scrutinized to make sure we don't need to go in another direction. And my findings will only assist them in figuring out the courses they need to take. Both agencies share information. For Mathine, this case, and so many others involving children are the hardest for him to deal with. It's a, a little baby, basically. And everybody's emotions are, are flying. And a lot of accusations and finger pointing go on naturally in those types of things. He wants to make sure the answers are correct. And if someone should be held accountable, it's done the right way. It's not for me. It's for those families. It's for <clears throat> the person that can no longer speak for themselves determined to bring justice for the young and old. I think for any of us that are involved in cases like this, it is, you can stand up and say, oh, it doesn't bother me, but that, you're absolutely wrong, because it does. Mathine doesn't have a timeline. He can't say how long it will take to get test results back, but hopes everyone gets answers and closure soon. We reached out to the Forest County District Attorney six times about this case over the past three weeks. The latest just this afternoon to see if there are any pending charges or updates. He has never returned our calls.